Travel insurance can be kind of a hot topic um, sometimes in the cruising community. A lot of people will not cruise without it. There's others that never bother to purchase it and they just kind of go with the flow and hope nothing happens. Well, I was one of those people several years ago, but the last few years we've been purchasing travel insurance for our family and I've never had to use it until just recently. And the response I got when I submitted my claim really surprised me. Hello everyone, I'm Sharon from Sharon at Sea Travel. Today I'm gonna to tell you my most recent experience with travel insurance. Now, I've never had to use it, but I recently had to use it and some of you that follow along with our channel might know why that I did have to cancel our cruise May 2nd on the Carnival Forense. So I'm gonna talk about how that process worked for us with the travel insurance. So let me kind of get started at the beginning here with the story. So we had two cabins booked on the Carnival Forense. Um, when I had to cancel because my mother was ill, Jamie, my husband, and my son, they were sharing a cabin. They continued to go. So I had a cabin booked with our granddaughter, Callie. We had to cancel. My annual plan did cover cancellation, but I will say Callie's did not. So in our family, we've purchased the annual plan, but we have the plan that covers cancellation as well as medical for myself and my husband. The kids, we just purchased the one for medical because... Most of the time, they're the third or fourth guest in the cabin, and with a lot of cruise lines, that's a, such a discounted rate for the third and fourth guests. So we just didn't really feel the need to purchase the cancellation coverage for them as well and pay more. So anyways, back to the story. So I, with everything going on, I didn't even submit a claim. I just kind of let things go, and then all of a sudden, it dawned on me, wait, I have the cancellation covers. I can finally use my travel insurance. I've never had to use it before. Now, our cruise was on May 2nd. Um, it is the first week of June right now. So four days ago from making this video, I decided I need to put this claim in, you know, before it gets too late. So I got on their website. I put all the information in that they asked for, the reason for cancellation, and answered all the questions. Then it asked for me to upload some documents to kind of verify that I was telling the truth. So I had to upload um, that cancellation of my cruise, what the penalty amount was, and some information about that. Then I also had to upload some information about my mother's hospital. My mother did have to go to the hospital, her hospital records of that she was admitted to the hospital to kind of verify that, you know, that's why I canceled. So once I uploaded everything, it did ask me if I wanted to have a text message response on how the claim was going. So uh, along the way, they would text me and let me know what, you know, where my claim was at. So I put in my phone number so they could text me. It also asked me in the event that I got a refund where I wanted it sent to. It asked for my bank account information. So I did put that in there. Push that button. I submitted that claim. Once I submitted it, less than a minute later, I got a text message from the company. And the company that I use for our annual plan is Allianz. And it said that they received my information. They are going to work on validating everything, and I would hear back from them, um, you know, in a few days, you know, whether or not the claim that they're going to process the claim, it's going to get approved or denied, and all that information. So I was like, okay. So I, I was expecting, oh, maybe I'll hear back from them in a couple of weeks or whatever, maybe even a month. I've heard, I have heard some horror stories about travel insurance from people before, um, for different claims. I was beside myself, <laughs> surprise, let me tell you, when literally three days after I submitted that claim, I received a text message from them saying, your claim has been processed um, and your payments, you know, been, the payment's been processed. Basically, they're saying it went to my bank account. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So the next morning I got up, checked my bank account, and sure enough, it was there. So let me tell you a few details of what I submitted and um, how that all works with the annual plan. So now I did have an annual plan. It covered a certain amount of money for cancellation for the entire year. The, um, the amount that I submitted was for $474. That was just for my cruise amount. Like I said, my granddaughter Callie did not have the cancellation insurance, so I just submitted for my half. Also, we were already refunded for our port fees and taxes and any incidentals that we purchased, like water, and I think um, Callie had a Wi-Fi package on there and we were already, um, sent back our money from Carnival 
for that. We were refunded from Carnival. So I was basically just looking to get reimbursed for the penalty amount for my cruise. And sure enough, they reimbursed me. It was in my bank account. And I mean, that was the easiest process I have ever had with any insurance company. Um, now, like I said, this was the first time we've ever had to use our travel insurance, but I can't say enough about it and how it worked for us. I am going to promote it even more because it is so important these days. And the fact that I was able to get that refunded, having to cancel last minute, really, it really made me happy. So at the end of the day, I purchased my policy for $258. They paid me back my 474. I do have the rest of my 2000 towards cancellation for the annual plan. So I, what's that? I still have a little over 1500 left. So if I should have to cancel something again, it will pay for all of that, or maybe a portion of that at least. And if I go over that, I can always buy an additional plan as well, but I do have some coverage back. I'm very happy with it. I'm really glad that I purchased a plan that included the cancellation as well for us. So. I just want to share my story with you guys. I know there's a lot of different stories out there about travel insurance. Some are good, some are bad. If you have any travel insurance stories to share with us, please do, whether they're good or bad, put them in the comments below. Every, it just helps everyone um, learn a little more about travel insurance and make them aware of how important it is. So as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, our experience with this travel insurance alliance, and I'm gonna give you a thumbs up for that, um, really surprised us in a good way. Very happy with Aliens. I would highly recommend them as you're, if you need to get travel insurance, especially the annual plans, because they have multiple um, plans that you can choose from for your situation. So there's my story about my first time having to actually put a claim in for travel insurance. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.